we're gonna put one microphone on here and then I'll have one. Okay, so what I was saying is I'm practicing my bailout, my safety drop. I squat and lift. I lift it. I come all the way under and lift. All the way under and lift. People think, oh, it's gonna get blasted, attacked. It actually doesn't. It doesn't bounce that high. It doesn't bounce that high. Plus I'm usually giving it to a backhand and then my partner should see that it's a perfect drop and they should be right here blocking. They should be the screen. They are cutting off this gap. Me, when I do that, I come up slow. They have the gap closed, so I come up slow. I don't have to rush up and get burned. I come up slow and then I'll do a reset and then now, boom, I'm to the line. So I do squat and lift, squat and lift. I come up slow and then I just keep feeding that corner. I keep feeding that corner, wait for this guy to move. This person can make the mistake by putting it a little high and then I can go there. So there's always, I'm, I dink to set up a, a shot. I don't dink just to dink. I think the setup to get them out of position. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, so I think to get them out of position. Okay, so whoever is on there, just fast forward to that. Here you can watch these guys for now. I'm gonna pick up the balls. Lorena, you want to warm up with me? Okay. All right, we'll get Lorena to warm up. I normally don't ever play on Monday, but Lisa wanted to play. She has time. Okay. Let's go in this corner now. Sorry guys, this would be a better edited video for sure. Okay, let's switch sides. I'm just gonna drop to this corner basically. And you just hit them back. That's a way to, for us to both warm up. So this is my safe drop. My other drop is this one. <laughs> so that's more of an attack drop, but this is my, my bailout drop or my safety drop. And I'm to the line and we're just gonna dink here. So when I dink forehand, I don't take a lot of risks. Backhand, I can really carve, unless she gives me something like that. So if I get one shallow, that's where I can attack. But if I get one deep in this area, there's no attacks for me. So I just kind of go for what I call the number two. So if I look on their court, one is there, two is her left foot, three is the right foot here, four is the, the left foot there. So I just do number twos basically. So it kind of keeps the ball in the center I just wait for one of those. <laughs> so that's all I'm doing when I do this, the forehand dink. I'm just keeping it in play, unattackable, unattackable. I'm not giving her a one because that'll get us everybody in trouble. So I'm just kind of waiting on an air. Everyone, oh, there's the air. That could be attackable, but we're just warming up. So I do huge drop steps, big drop steps. That gives me so much room and time. 
drop step. So this is good, good practice for her too. Cheater, she cheated. <laughs> Wrong side. So every once in a while, if you can get that person moving, you can give them that volley that I just gave her. If I get her to move back and they aren't a super aggressive player, you can get them on that volley. So always be ready for an attack too, Lorena. So that bounced high enough to attack. And just like a baby attack. Pretty much I don't attack. I'll just try to set up my partner because I can just be in this game all day. So even though there's times where I would put this ball in front of me, but for the most part, I'm almost always going cross court. 90% of my shots are cross court. Learn that from one of the best players in the world, Scott Moore. And it sure certainly helped me a lot. So, and every time I, you know, sometimes I'll get lazy, but every time I dink, I'm ready for an attack. Because that's where people would get me way. When I was learning the game, I wouldn't be ready and they would flick me. So that's where I developed this comfort grip and the block grip. So I'm always, I hit and get blocked. I hit and block. So I can always adjust to anything after that. But if they flick it fast enough and I'm here or something, I, I'm not fast enough to get that block. But here I'm already ready. It's hard to get a ball through me. It used to be easy. But of course, Larry, Paul, Timo used to just blast me. So they have really helped me develop my game. So it's okay to go back. I let a lot of balls bounce because I can see the court. I can see the court. I've moved back up. I don't want to be reaching in too much. If I have to stretch, then I'm not balanced. This way I can see the court. Ooh, almost. Okay, let's go back into backhand. Watch out for that ball. Let me check the camera here. Okay, thanks. Okay, backhand is where I get kind of aggressive. It's all right. So I can put spin on it. I can, I really go a lot in that corner, but I will bring it there if I have to. And my bailout is pretty much right there. But otherwise, I'll stay in this dink. And I don't take a lot of risk until they, see that one was set up for me to be able to carve it. So these are, the ones I attack are basically the ones that are close to the net like that. Cause it gives me all this room to attack. When I'm deep like this, I'm only looking for like a volley attack or a lob. These I just keep, I just get, get in this comfort grip and I just let the momentum of the ball do the work. It's, I don't have to think about hitting the shot. I only have to think about the amount of pace I'm gonna put on it. <laughs> it wasn't there. <laughs> So I try not to give too many volleys to this person because my partner's probably moved the center. So if I give her one of those, she can attack in front of her. And that's me roasting my partner. Because we want to cover middle. We're just waiting on an air. That's where I can really, 
I can rip it over. So I got, didn't do my slice, I did a roll. So it's nice to have all these different. And that's one of my bailouts just in that corner. Because I know my partner is going to have the block and then I can take my time getting back into position. Oh, it wasn't there. That's my like Ben John's roll. It's a work in progress. So all I'm trying to do is get her out of position. And you can see how she's camped over there. So that would open up that one. <laughs> so that, that's what I'm looking for when I'm back in dinking. I'm waiting on somebody to camp, waiting on a mistake, waiting on a pop-up, and then big old drop steps. That would have set up for a nice lob, actually. I, I take it out of the air only when it's comfortable and I'm not stretching. But the key is having this magic angle. It's already there. The ball's gonna just go. It's always when you're talking and demonstrating it doesn't go as well. See, these are hard. And then I make her move a foot. That's what I'm working towards. I'm dinking to either wait for an error. And every once in a while I'll go two-handed. It's something different. That's an attack. But be ready. At my level, even if you attack, they come back. Plus I'm looking for an around the post. That's that car. That's just safe. Safe, skip pop. This drop step is what changed my game for the better. That would be the air I would have ripped in front of me. I try not to attack diagonally because my partner will get roasted. So I know this. Uh, Um, I know the title says solo drill, I'll switch it, but since when somebody comes and they're a good dinker, it's fun to just dink practice. A lot of people don't get enough drill time, but the only way to get good is to drill. And everybody says they want to drill, but you end up playing within five minutes. With me, I can drill all day until I run out of water. So I joined a, I joined, so another way to, if you're new to pickleball, to get good or force yourself to practice is to sign up for a tournament. So that's what, that's how I started. My wife signed me up for a tournament. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna suck. So I started practicing. And then my friend, Larry, who was, who was watching, asked me to play in nationals with him and I was just a scrub at the time. So I'm like, uh, I'm scared. He was four or five. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna look stupid. So I hit probably 100,000 balls over a four month period and we won gold. I also won mixed. So I got two gold, two national championships. Now I'd like to get one at senior pro, but that might be. That's all about partners. Okay, I hope this microphone's working well. So that's my car. I just uh, get back to neutral. That's kind of a, a nice little bailout. That's an attack. That's an attack. That's just a reset. Very good though, very good. I'm waiting for her to give me around the post. See if you can give me an around the post. Again. 
That's a tough one. Okay, I'll give you a couple. Not quite there. That's a good bailout though. Let me try again. Yeah, be patient. Wait a long time. Yeah. And it'll clear that post. Uh, those, yeah, got to wait a long time sometimes. <laughs> hey, almost. Okay, so that's it for the that live stream. It was good practice. Drilling. Drill, drill, drill. Drill, baby, drill. Okay, CoachDaveLive.com. See ya. Boom, hit a like button. Hit subscribe. Thanks. Sorry about the audio.